Our most gracious, kind Heavenly Father, we thank you for waking us up today, another day of life. You have given us another sunrise to enjoy. Lord, once again, we would like to ask your Holy Spirit, to help us understand your word as we continue to study it this morning God, and please give us enough spiritual energy, as we go along. Please forgive our shortcomings O oh God, and help us to be worthy to be called your children. This we ask in the most precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. The Love Left Behind When someone you love passes away, the pain is indescribable. It doesn't matter if death was expected or sudden. It isn't until after they are actually gone that you fight the beast of finality. Nothing can prepare you and no earthly remedy can stop the pain. Coming to terms with knowing you'll never hear their voice again or see them smile or share a hug leaves a hole in your heart that no one but Jesus can fill. Somehow you want to dig up every precious memory in the recesses of your mind for fear you may forget. You seek comfort by playing their last voicemail over and over just to hear their voice or kneel by their grave talking to them even though your rational self knows they can't hear you. All the memories in the world won't bring them back to life and dealing with that reality is unbearable. Only Jesus can give you comfort and peace as he alone is the only healer of hearts. Psalm seventy-three twenty-six says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Time is short and oh so precious. So don't count your days, but make your days count for no one is promised tomorrow. Say I love you and say it often while you still can. Don't let a day go by with bad feelings between you and your loved ones. How terrible it would be to have a fight and know that the last words they heard you say were hateful. When you lose someone you love, instead of trying to live without them, remember them and live with the love they left behind.